Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing something completely different. We're in Unity today, and we're going to be doing something for Team Trees. Now, it's around about 15, 14 million at the minute. Um, so I'm a bit late, but we are going to be basically planting 2 million trees in Unity. Big asterisk, because as I import like these assets, I'll, t I'll explain. No computer in the world can run 22 mil uh, sorry, 20 million trees, yet alone 2 million, so I did have to dial it back to 20k. However, the end result is pretty decent. Uh, so I'm just importing a few assets that I've owned uh, just to help speed up the development process and to make the game look pretty because I want to kind of release this for free afterwards. So let's get straight into it. It took an hour in total. I've sped the footage up by 500%. So we're just starting off by importing all the assets. Uh, it does take a long time for a new Unity project, but it should wrap up fairly soon. So I'm thinking to make this very simple, I'm just going to plop in a first person controller and then just have them roam around a giant forest. I know it sounds really boring. I'm actually closing a some apps just to make it go a bit faster and um, yeah it looks like we're ready so here is Unity uh, what we're gonna do we're just gonna drag in a menu UI and we're just gonna customize it just a little bit we'll come back to this at the end um, just move it around and to sort of make it look decent this is a free uh, asset you can download in your asset store so here's me just playing around with all the text no need to do it just make the things bigger so I'm going to make a new scene, call it the game, and this is going to be a two scene sort of thing. So I started off by importing a terrain, and I'm just going to go around and shape the terrain. Uh, so there's the first person character controller. I was going to make it a third person sort of game, but then I sort of uh, uh, went against that. So I click play, and I realized that I need to move the person up and, you know, make the character camera actually look at him so I didn't realize that but there you go there's the character jumping around eventually I did uh, attach it to the player and then adjust it so you can see he's walking around but as I said earlier I did end up going with a first person character so this is me tweaking the lighting a little bit I'm gonna bake a light map for this um, I in the end I it took so long that I just ended up just not doing real-time GI. Let's pop a grass texture on and I'm just going to duplicate it and make a normal map of that. And I'm just going to do it for all these uh, materials. So make them normal maps. And then it just makes the grass look a little bit nicer. Now I did notice that there's a few artifacts and I don't know why that is. So I just try my best to sort of dial it back a little bit. And I think I found a happy medium right there. So there we go. Next up, uh, I pop in a first person character controller because I don't like the third person view. So I'll pop that in and it's pretty good. Then what I do is I grab some more materials. I think I grab more, yeah, more materials and start adding some grass. And I just paint that all over. So there's a blob of grass there. Uh, there are two different grass types uh, in the standard assets pack, and I was just experimenting. I decided to go with a darker sort of grass, and this is just me filling out the area with grass. Um, it does take a while, but I just want to make it even. Now, my computer does lag with all this grass, and that is because I was still using studio drivers for an NVIDIA. Now, NVIDIA offers two sorts of drivers. There's studio drivers, and there's game-ready drivers. So obviously Unity makes games, Studio is for video editing, and I switched to Studio Drivers while making the Fortnite um, video, just because of how laggy and crash prone Premiere was. As soon as I switched to the Studio Drivers, it was completely fine, but a smooth, and I had no problems whatsoever, just because it renders on the GPU. So here I am in game, grass is all working. I find it a bit too big so I just play around the values a little bit and it does sway a bit too much that is a little bit too thin so I just go back in and change that again so I think that's pretty good I changed the wind again for some reason I don't know why 
So next up, as you can see, I'm just playing around with terrain tools. So I start carving out a little hole. Uh, I want to have some lakes and islands on this map just to sort of like break up all the trees because I don't want it all to be trees. So this is me sort of experimenting with sort of like all the brushes. I don't really like how they turn out, but I realized that no one's really going to see it. I started adding like a little bit of a mountain back here as well just to sort of uh, liven up the terrain a little bit. And obviously I will remove this grass because obviously you don't see grass on a mountain or inside a pool. I paint a mountain texture on to the cliff and it looks pretty nice if I do say so myself. And I paint around the edges here as well just to sort of make it flush. Now when you're painting you need sort of a low opacity just because... It looks more natural because if you put white and black next to each other, it's going to look like the colors will just look clash or they'll clash basically. But if you put the opacity down, it will go like black to gray to white and it just makes it look much nicer. Popping in some water here. Uh, this is again from the standard assets pack. I challenged myself to just make everything from the standard assets pack. Uh, it's actually really, really powerful. Um, the some of the ass the prefabs in it. Uh, around the edges, I decide to put some sand. I also make this corner like sandy as well. And there's me removing the grass from the sand as well. Uh, next, I'm gonna lower the terrain around the sides, just to, like drop it off. Then this took so long, and I don't even think it was worth it. But to be honest, it looks kind of makes it look more natural, sort of like more like an island. I could have made it so much uh, like more natural, but I didn't want to spend too, too long on it. So I'm just going around the outside, sort of chilling out a little area. And then obviously I'm going to remove all the grass around the edges. That takes quite a while to do. And then obviously I'm going to pop some water here and it would just look much nicer so don't worry about that <laughs> so with the terrain in unity it's quite limited and the team at unity are actually like making it a lot lot better but right now it's still pretty limited on some of the stuff you can do so i made this a big uh sort of i basically cut the corner here just because i wanted to do something here I don't actually don't remember what I did, so I'm gonna have to watch that as I do it. So we're nearly done now, just going around the second to last corner. And I try I I spend so long trying to make the grass perfect, but in the end it doesn't really matter. So there we go, there's a sand bank that we did earlier, and we're just doing the final little bit now. All the way up to the mountain at the back. And I think at this point I also, yeah, I also shade in with sand. And I think I also go to the mountain and clear off the grass that, there as well. Not too sure. So there's me adjusting the water, basically making it fill the whole island. And you can see uh, there's a few mistakes, so I just go over them with the terrain brush. I also smooth the height as well. Uh, I don't know why I smooth, like, unnecessarily. But there you go, there's me smoothing the height. Making it a little bit more uh, natural and, like, less <laughs> fake, if you will. I know, it just looks kind of weird how it's all, like, joined up a little bit. So I just go around and just lower the terrain a little bit. No one's going to see it under the water unless you really unless you jump in. So, yeah. So I'm just going around. Uh, carving out terrain. I do try and make it look nice, but as you can see, it's a little bit jagged. And I think I do go back over it with the smooth brush. Figures of the smooth brush, uh, sometimes it makes it look sort of artificial. It's like you sort of want jaggies, and other times you don't. Like in mountains, like you don't see smooth mountains, do you? Like round topped mountains, like they're more pointy. So I'm just smoothing over the edge of the island. I just smooth over the mountains just a little bit. Not too much. Then what I do is I extend the mountain and sort of like... T 
texture to the back side of it just because people might climb up there. It's just grass. <laughs> Uh, it does look a little bit weird, so I do play around with the normal map settings, I think, later on. But right now, I just texture the rest of the... Um, oh no, I add more grass, apparently. <laughs> I don't even remember what I do. Ah, oh, this is me clearing out the grass on the mountain. So, just going round. Actually, no, is that me just... I think that's me just, like, smoothing off, like, the the grass texture just so it looks more natural so here i make a sort of a little island this can be another little lake which i'm gonna make and smooth out lovely jubbly and i clear all the grass as well just around the edges because you don't want grass inside the water i do think i'd in the final build i do leave like grass <laughs> just around in the water which, you know, obviously not ideal, but everyone makes mistakes. I try my best just to sort of make it look neat and make sure nothing sticks out. I then get rid of the water temporarily just to see how bad the terrain is. And I try and fix it, but then I give up like halfway and think, you know, who's going to actually look down here? Like, no one, really. <laughs> and this this uh, sort of me flattening terrain at the bottom ends up uh, hurting me in the future when it comes to placing the trees and you'll see that in the video so I add the water back turn it back on um, and then I just clear another bit of grass and lower it and what this is going to be is a, a couple of islands so uh, I'm not too worried about in fact no I don't even leave anything I'd create islands myself so I'd use a set height tool create a few islands just in the middle of nowhere just very randomly and then I smooth them out just to make them a bit more natural. So I'm just going around with the uh, the detail brush, just clearing grass and then sort of sorting out that edge because it looks a little bit weird. So there we go, just adding some grass back onto the islands. Some does spill in the water and I'm sorry about that. Uh, Again, super small, just for the really tiny islands. And overall, it looks pretty decent. And here's me smoothing out sort of all the islands. I got lazy, so I just made a massive brush and went smooth. <laughs> I carve out that little bit because I can't bother to put grass there because I know it's just going to spill into the uh, lake area that I've made. And you can see there's a bit of grass underneath, and I was like, yeah. I'll just do the grass again. And uh, I I end up actually just placing sand there. <laughs> so the grass wasn't even needed. So these little islands, little sand islands. I don't know why they made a sand in the middle of nowhere, but sure. So now comes the fun part. These are the trees. So there are three different trees. There's, um, I used two of them. Actually, no, I used all three. And here's the magic number, 20k trees. Uh, any more and <laughs> your computer will probably turn into a toaster. So I go around clearing the trees off the islands because I've got another idea for that. So remember when I said there was like four different trees? Uh, there is one normal looking tree for desktop and mobile, uh, one sort of pine tree for desktop only, and um, there's a palm tree. I'm going to use the palm trees for the sandy sections. And I'm just a pruning brat. Oh, sorry, pruning back the trees. I know, destroying trees in a video about creating them. I know, horrible. But it should be roughly around 20k trees. So here I am just demolishing the trees on the mountain. Shouldn't be saying that in a uh, team trees sort of video, but would you really see trees on a mountain? Let's be honest, clearing from the sandy area as well. A bit too much there, so I just undo. So then I find the palm trees and just pop them down on the islands. And this is where the flattening of the terrain in that lake uh, sort of, I sort of regret it. So you'll s notice later on in the video that the trees actually are planted down there because they're sort of um, thingy. What's it called? Oh, here's where I test the game. And this is me just removing sort of all the unnecessary packages as well as adding in uh, the 
post processing package, which just makes the game look nicer. Uh, but anyway, as I was saying, you'll notice that when I flatten the thing, it makes space for trees to grow. So I do go down and do that. So here I am adding a post-processing layer and a volume and just adding a load of effects. So I don't actually know what I'm doing. These are just temporary settings. So I throw chromatic configuration, color grading, uh, subspace ambient occlusion, depth of field, grain, and a vignette. Also, I have the motion blur as well. I think I do screen size, yeah, I do screen size reflections as well. And I do change it to deferred. So that's what the game looks like. It looks pretty decent. Uh, so I do a quick play test and it actually looks really nice. This is where I discovered that there's trees underneath the little lake. So I just t clear them out. Because trees don't grow in the water, do they? No, they don't. So I clear it out check the water and make sure there's no more and this is me just playing around with the settings a little bit so the quality settings I turn all the way up and sort of optimize it as best as I can and I add a little potato setting just because there is uh, guaranteed a computer which cannot run this and in the end I do end up by like tuning those settings so this is me tinkering the menu again sort of making it look more green so there we go pop it green and then it we are nearly done believe it or not so this is the team trees game you can download it using the link in the description there's nothing to it all you do is wander around trees <laughs> i don't even think these two music sliders work either so thank you all for watching make sure you donate to teamtrees.org and enjoy Uh, I've literally just finished editing the Team Trees uh, video and this is the game I'm going to show you. I didn't have time to put a banner there. So we're going to do 1920 by 1080 on ultra settings and this literally I made that in Photoshop. There's the Team Trees sort of splash and then made in Unity of course. What I do? Oh I removed that okay. So here we go. This is the very basic title screen with the options. Blah -de blah -de blah. So let's click start. And we'll be put into the tree world. So I did add an FPS counter and a minimap later on. And this does run like trash just because of the amount of trees which are there. But I made it sort of like a bit foggy. And I don't know why I did that. Uh, sort of make it look more mysterious. So you can hold shift to run. And we're just going to go around and have a look. Oh, that tree looks a bit weird with the roots. Um, so yeah, all these little FPS gameplay. But there's just a lot of trees. That's all I can say, really. So we'll head out over to the mountain. You can see the minimap up top just to see where we are. Uh, it's really easy to get caught on trees as well. <laughs> uh, if you run this at a lower resolution, it will obviously perform better. But this is like maxed out settings. There's also a potato mode, which I will show you. Which is still pretty taxing, surprisingly. So we'll just come over here. And this is sort of the mountain area you can see the little lens flare over there Ooh, that looks nice um so yeah it's sort of like a swamp almost uh obviously I, you know i can just literally just go around here can't i so we'll climb up this mountain and there's the edge of the world just don't worry about that <laughs> uh oh did i leave grass up here i did leave grass up here oh dear oh well well, it's too late now. But there you go. There's the entire forest. Uh, again, it's a bit foggy. One of the reasons why there is so much fog is because of the fact of FPS. Um, so obviously it's rendering less because of the fog. Uh, can I get back in? Oh, I think I was on top of a tree there. Uh, we'll head over to the sort of islands as well. Because why not? Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, it does use, this game does use, uh, what's it called, occlusion culling, just to sort of cull out trees, which you can't see, which is why if I look over here, I get 10 FPS, if I look over there, I get 16, just because the, the trees aren't actually there until I look over there. Uh, what's happening? Okay. Obviously, I can run along the edge here. There's nothing out here. Oh, Jesus. 
It's very foggy. <laughs> uh, we'll go to the islands. Oh, I dip below the water then. Ooh, and here are the islands. These look really cool, actually. I like them. Uh, the trees are a bit crammed, but I mean, I was trying to put 20k trees. What do you expect? <laughs> and then we'll go over to the little sandy patch. Oh, actually, no, we'll go over here first. Oh, God. Actually, I might uh, just escape the game. I don't think the quit button actually works, so I have to alt oh, F4 out. And I'll quickly show off. I'll run it at 1600 by 900, and we'll run it at potato settings, just to show you what potato actually looks like. Uh, hint, it looks awful, but at least you can run it. <laughs> so potato pretty much dials back everything to the lowest it can go, while still looking decent. I mean, yeah, it still runs horribly, and also the, the UI is a bit off, but I made this in god knows how long. So here is potato quality. Again, it looks decent enough. Uh, not the best it can look, but still pretty damn cool. I am going the wrong way. Ooh, God. So there's not really anything you can do here. It's just literally running around and just looking at all 20k-ish trees. Oh, God. And we'll head over here. All my FPS go above 30. Seems to be running. I think there might be a bug because this seems to be running like a lot smoother than what it says. So I might actually uh, have to tweak that. But I might not. It doesn't really matter. So here is the sandy portion right here. So that is Team Trees game thing that I made. Uh, it's very basic, and you can just literally just jump off. There's trees along there, I just realised. Uh, so yeah, uh, you can just jump off, you'll fall forever. There's nothing you can really do. Hey, 30 FPS, lovely. Right, so thank you guys for watching, uh, and goodbye.